Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we will continue discussing uh, Business Analytics Part 2. Uh, we're still in uh, Excel and uh, Spreadsheets, Google Sheets uh, formulas and um, among the many formulas that we will be covering are NPV and IF formula for today. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start this. So first, uh, let's define what NPV is all about. So uh, in, the, in the line of business, uh, we have this concept of net present value or NPV. Uh, NPV is the sum of the present values of all cash flows over a stated time horizon uh, in the net present value. So there's a formula for uh, net present value. Uh, it is the summation of F sub 1 over um, 1 plus i okay now um, we are not uh, talking about math or this subject is not math but um, in line of business uh, and data analytics business analytics this is something that you can do uh, using google sheets and um, excel spreadsheets so we will be doing this later on in our discussion so we have npv uh, also i would just like to cover um, if function uh, this is a very useful um, feature in excel and google sheets uh, it is under the, the umbrella of logical functions so when you talk of logical functions they will uh, these are types of functions that would return any of the two values uh, it could be true or false and then other useful logical functions in business analytics can be if and and or okay but anyways again we will just be covering npv and if so let's go ahead and try to apply this in um, a sample worksheet so let me just go ahead and uh switch to um, this worksheet so here so here in our worksheet i'll be demonstrating to you uh, the net present value computation and if so here you can see that we already have answers to our um, example worksheets but what we will try to do is um, apply the formulas on our own or try to do it on our own okay so let's go ahead and start with the net present value it says right here that net present value is rate times cost times sales over time so there is actually a long method which is for you to multiply all of these things in order for you to get this answer of 60,000 170.69 but thanks to excel and google sheet we can actually do this using the formula of npv so again npv is the net present value of, a, of an investment based on the series of uh, i'm not sure what this p is all about so it was already cut there but uh, we can go ahead and try to compute NPV automatically using uh, this formula so we will start with equal sign and then type NPV and then open parenthesis so it says right here that we have to start with the discount okay after the discount is a comma or a separator so in among this data which is our discount our discount is this three percent right so all we have to do is just click the cell where the discount rate belongs so in this case it's three percent and it belongs in b6 here the cell address is b6 b um column b row six okay and then it says uh, earlier we have to put in a separator or a comma so put in the comma and now we go to the cash flow cash flow one um, cash flow one pertains to cost because that's our formula rate times cost times sales over time 
So, the next would be the cost and it belongs in B5. So, all I have to do is again, click the cell B5. Alright, and then again, finally, okay, so after fixed cost, we have, um, again, we will put in a separator here, which is in the form of comma. We have sales over time. So, sales over time is represented by all of these numbers from January to June. So, all I have to do is just highlight everything. What I did is I, I click C4 and then I dragged it all the way to H4. Thus, you can see in the formula bar C4 colon H4. Okay, so if we're done, all we have to do is just close the formula. And then double check if everything is correct. If it's correct, then we can go ahead and see if um, our formula is right. So I'll be pressing enter. Alright, so our answer is correct. It's just in a different uh, format. I'll, I can change it into Philippine Peso. So there, you can see that our answer is correct. 60,170.69 So that's how NPV works, okay? Now, let's go to if function. So when you talk of if, um, again, er, uh, what we have said earlier is that this is a logical function that would give you either a true or a false um, answer. Uh, not necessarily true or false, but um, any of the the said uh, function uh, results rather. So let's try to to do the if formula here. Uh, let me just okay if formula. So here uh, we have um, series of grades. Uh, we have midterm grades, finals, and then the total. And then using if, we could easily tell whether a certain score is passed or the certain another score is failed. So this is helpful, uh, especially if you are looking at a lot of numbers, a lot of students, okay, uh, in the vernacular, medyo nakakaduling ano, if you would look at it and it's just black and white, right? So, sometimes putting in color schemes just like this or a verbal interpretation would help you easily uh, identify whether what data is in front of you. Okay? So, using the if function, we will try to determine whether a certain score is passed or failed. So, in my case, susubuk, uh, susubukan ko na gawin siya in Tagalog so that Kasi we already did passed and failed here. So, just in order for me to uh, give you a different example, then um, I'll put it in uh, Tagalog. Okay? So, let's try to use if. So, again, we start with an equal sign and then the formula if. If returns the value depending on the logical expression. So, uh, when you start if if open parenthesis logical expression so what is our logical expression what this means is that this is our basis okay this is our basis to know if it is passed or failed so where is our basis here the basis would be the total score right 85 percent so all i need to do is just click 85 percent this one it's e11 and then I have that cell. If E11 is, so what is our um, condition? Ano ba yung condition natin? If it's 85% up, pasado. And then if it's 85%, uh, 84 and below, it is failed. Right? We can say that. So let's try to do that. If E11 is less than, Okay, so I'm going to use this less than number, uh, less than symbol, less than 
85%, kung yung E11 daw is less than 85%, what happens? So, that's the logical expression, right? So, next would be comma. Comma. If true. Now, we go to the next value if true. If it's indeed 85 below, what is the score? Is it passed or failed? Okay? If totoo, if true. So, if it's true that the number that we have here is below 85%, then we will say bagsak or failed. Right? Kasi if it is below, if it is below 85%. So, notice that I put in quotation marks because that's what I would like to see. Bagsak or pasado. Okay? And then next, I will put in the comma as the separator, so comma. Now, what if the value is false? Meaning, if it's not 85 or less, it's 85 up. Then, what this means is that the student is pasado or passed. So, I will just type open quote, pasado, close quote. Alright, and then let me close the formula. Okay, so if everything seems to be good, then let's try to see if the formula is correct. I'm going to press enter now. Okay, so we can see that since we have placed it at 85, it is um, bagsak. Okay, let me see if I did it correctly. So... I'm going to check autofill. Alright, so it included, uh, well, maybe this 85% is uh, if we are going to put in, kasi it says here 85% is pasado eh. So let me try to tweak this a little bit. Less than uh, or equal to 85 and then try to yan so we are now more clear okay um, if it's 85 meaning 85% uh, is also considered failed or bagsak so yan you can see uh, 85 is bagsak 96 is pasado 75 is bagsak 85 is bagsak 82% is bagsak. So, by our standards, uh, it's really high. So, let's try to lower it down. Let's say we turn it into 80%. If it's less than or equal to 80, and then let me try to click enter, the student is already passed naman. So, I'll just drag the formula down. Okay. So, notice that the results have also changed. So, 96 pasado, 75 bagsak, 85 pasado, and 82 pasado. Okay? So, that's pretty much it for NPV and IF. So, for now, what we will be doing is I'll be sending you a copy of this worksheet and then you have to type in the formulas by yourself. Okay? Um, I hope we have learned something from this very short discussion and uh, for more videos like this you can go ahead and check my playlists uh, with that thank you so much and um, uh, i hope you stay safe uh, until our next discussion to god be all the glory